In Central Texas, authorities in rural Llano County are considering closing the library after a federal judge overturned a local lawmaker's decision to ban books deemed by some to be pornographic. Librarian Suzette Baker was fired for refusing to pull those books from the shelves. She spoke at a public hearing in regard to the potential closing. I would like to know how the history of the KKK is pornographic. How to be an anti-racist. How is that pornographic? It's not. This is about taking away rights. This is not a communist nation. This is not a Nazi nation. You do not get to pick our reading material. It is ours. Baker says many of the books the group wants to ban are about LGBTQ issues and people of color. Book band supporter Rhonda Schneider also spoke and read what she says are examples of explicit material to the judge. The library is a vital part of our community, but they said it's a safe space for kids. It is not a safe space for kids. These are all books that are currently on the shelves in the Lano Library. So you can be a heterosexual or homosexual, and I feel like I understand that. Lano resident Emmick McPherson believes the library should be closed. The only reason I'm for closing the library is because we haven't been able to get these books that are definitely pornographic moved to an adult section that I am willing to close the whole library down to prevent them and keep them out of my children's hands. While those books may be objectionable to some, they are not pornographic, says Texas Library Association Executive Director Shirley Robinson. She says some of the nearly 40 bills in this Texas legislative session relating to libraries include criminal charges against librarians. Librarians are leaving the profession because, um, you know, there is this threat of potential criminal prosecution or, um, you know, just harassment within their communities. Carrie Ann Holt is a Texas-based author whose book has been banned by many libraries. The book deals with two middle school girls who discover they have a crush on each other. In our industry, we worked really hard um, to not only diversify the voices in books and the, the authors and everything, but like to show like queer joy or black joy. And like as those numbers have increased, the numbers of books being banned have increased almost exactly the same. So like when my story is about me not having to change, but the people around me having to change to accept me, that for some reason is threatening and the books are getting banned. Llano County commissioners voted to take the library closure off the agenda, allowing it to stay open while they appeal the federal order to return the books back to circulation. That decision is expected in October. Dina Mitchell for VOA News, Leonor, Texas.